What is going on everybody? Hope you are having a good week. Take a second to hit that subscribe button for me. I'm going to be releasing new videos every week, so it really helps me out. Thank you. Today we're going to be looking at the Viltrox 85mm lens that I recently picked up. I've been using this lens more than any other lens that I own, and I can honestly say that this is the only 85mm lens that a photographer needs in their camera bag. If you're a gearhead like I am, you're constantly on the prowl for new equipment, new accessories, and I've collected more lenses over the past couple years than I'll ever need. But I've downsized recently since I switched over to Sony. So I've recently picked up the Viltrox 85mm full frame lens for my Sony a7 IV. And let me tell you, it is a monster. At only $400 compared to, let's say, a $1,200 Sigma lens, you're getting that same high quality for a good price. Now, it's not like some of the other budget-friendly lenses where it's made of crappy plastic and it sounds like a car engine when it's trying to autofocus. It's definitely got some weight to it and the autofocus motor inside is pretty quiet. This lens is also equipped with a micro USB port for firmware updates, which I honestly never knew was even a thing you could do. To top it all off, it's moisture and dust resistant for all you crazy shooters out there. The shallow depth of field you get with a 1.8 aperture makes for great portraits and also allows for crisper photos in low light. I recently took this lens to New York City and took a couple photos there. I'll put those on the screen now. And as you can see, the photos came out great. Now the only major difference between the Viltrox lens and some of the other major name brands out there is the speed of the autofocus. It's only a little bit slower than the Sigma 85mm, but for $400, the trade-off is worth it. All around, it's a great quality lens for a great price. And anyone looking to add an 85mm lens to their arsenal, do not shy away because you think it's a budget lens. It has all the bells and whistles of $1,200 or more lens, you get the same quality images that you would with one of those more expensive lenses. And honestly, making this video makes me want to go out and shoot, so I'm going to go do that, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.